Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Thanos number three. This is a new book from Marvel Comics. Let's take a look at the creative team before we get into the rest of this book. This book is written by Christopher Canwell with art by Luca Pisari with Herman Peralta. Ruth Redman on colors, letters by Corey Petit. Uh, the main cover by Elenio Francis Yu and Sony Go. Uh, and of course, variant covers at the end of the video. Stay tuned for that. Uh, so the story so far, this is part three. Uh, there's only one more issue after this. So this is miniseries is soon to be over. Uh, when Thanos comes to Earth to search for a specific person, uh, the Illuminati come into play uh, to stop him. Now that everyone's been cleared off from the town, uh, Thanos has Roberta in his grasp. Uh, as we learned last issue, that she is the embodiment of death, and that's why Thanos is after her. Uh, there's a lot more revelations in this issue. Uh, so let's talk about this specific one. In this issue, Thanos unlocks Roberta's true memories as the goddess death, and she's not happy about it. Nor are the Illuminati who are the ones who had given her this new human identity. But first, they must deal with getting the entire city of Fresno safely back to Earth. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts here. Uh, like I mentioned in my previous reviews, I really like this roster of the Illuminati. Uh, we had Hulk come in last issue to battle it out with the Mad Titan. Uh, and we had a good battle. So um, I think there's some really interesting stuff here. There's an exploration of the mythology and the relationship between Thanos and, and Death. Uh, there's also a lot of... Um, mistrust maybe there's a lot there's still the illuminati are not a a well-oiled machine uh it really does feel like a last minute put together type of team they all have very strong personalities including emma frost in any of in any group is gonna uh be something that causes a little bit of friction uh but on top of that i think this issue finds little moments of humor which I really do appreciate from Cantwell and the team, uh, whether it's a visual gag uh, or just a little moment of levity before giving us some of that impact towards the end of the of the issue, both figuratively and, figuratively and literally. Uh, so let's take a look at some of the preview art uh, as we do have multiple artists with very similar styles. I can see why they were working together. But here we see the Illuminati talking to each other uh, as they try to find uh, Thanos, really interesting to see. Like most of these guys can fly or move very quickly, but of course Emma Frost has to like hijack a bike. Uh, and then uh, Thanos takes Death to Osvaldo's uh, Mexican restaurant, which I think is really funny. This is where I, I you know, brought some of those visual gags uh, I was talking about. Uh, and of course, as Roberta finds out her true identity, things just kind of escalate from there. Uh, because, of course, death is a very powerful being. Uh, there's a sequence here that we'll get to. We won't see it in the preview art, but it's a very interesting sequence of uh, a different realm, the realm of death, which I think it's very ex explore very well. That's probably where we have the change in artist, if I had to guess. That would make sense that they would take care of the other separate pages. Uh, but, yeah. And, you know, who is this woman? Why has she been around Roberta so for so long? What is her end game? And also, why did Death pick that specific form? Uh, there's a lot of questions still left un unanswered. Uh, and I think this last issue, the next issue, uh, will definitely clear, clear things up uh, and bring this story to a close in a really fun manner. I think this is going to be a great collected edition. It reads, the pacing is very quick, so it reads very speedily. Like, uh, And then you get to kind of marvel at all the cool art all the visual gags uh yeah really fun stuff really interesting approach to seeing how thanos and and what his motivations are here so if you have read this issue let me know what you thought about it down in the comments as always thank you for watching everyone remember to share like subscribe hit the bell so you know when we go live that is most saturdays 10 a.m central standard time stay tuned we have more comic reviews trailer reactions tv recaps all that fun stuff here in the channel thanks for watching everyone Bye bye